Hey guys, this is Shane from New Hampshire Quail and More. Wanted to do a little nighttime video for you about lighting your birds in the winter when they don't get enough light. Um, as you know, <clears throat> or if you don't know, maybe this is new information for you. Uh, quails, in order to produce eggs year round, they need on average about 14 to 16 hours of light per day. And when it's winter time, they obviously don't get that. So you gotta supplement their lighting. <clears throat> the system I did here is very simple, very inexpensive. I'm gonna try to find the links to leave in the description for you if you wanted to copy something like this. This works great for any type of outside um, system. You can even do it in your shed or your barn or wherever you're doing it, um, where you just need your birds to get a little bit more light for the winter. Um, <clears throat> Hope this gives you some ideas. I'm gonna flip you around. Try not to blind you by showing you uh, right at the lights because these are full spectrum, they are pretty bright. But I wanna give you an idea of what I use and if it's something that'll help you out, great. All right. All righty. Here's one of my uh, cages with some of my Egyptians and some Italians. <clears throat> and as you can see in the corner, again, trying not to blind you, that's basically a full spectrum grow light, okay? So, the way this works is I have these grow lights. Let's focus on there. That one. That one. Sorry for blinding you. That one. That one. And this one in here. <clears throat> so what these do is they're basically tied in a series. <clears throat> so if you can see that wire there, I go from this light, I just drill a little hole through here and it connects to this one. This one's wire goes down to that one and that wire goes through the wall to this one. So if you're trying to have different cages and multiple setups, but they're all kind of in the same area, you can use this kind of setup um, and basically just keep them relatively close um, and you can just run that. It's like, a, I think like a two foot watt, uh, cord that runs from one light to the other. And then the back one, you see that lamp, that light right back, the cord back there, that's my main power. <clears throat> and then that goes to a, automatic timer. Um, I'll show you the one I use. And uh, again, you can copy that. I can leave the link for you. I love this timer. It's by Casa and it does a great job. So I'll kind of try to find that and I'll uh, show you the timer I use and uh, how it sets up. Okay, so this is my um, automatic timer I use. And again, I apologize that the lighting isn't the greatest. It is shot at nighttime. Oh, my light just went off there. But, um, yeah, it gives you just kind of an idea of the shape. There we go. Get some motion light just kicked on. You got two outlets if you need them for uh, two things. I only really need one. I have another one hooked up to some lighting for my shed. But <clears throat> this is all done through Wi-Fi, and you can set it on your phone. And that is one of the best parts about this. It's weather resistant. It's been out here. Oh, there goes the automatic timer. The, uh, there we go. <laughs> we uh, went ahead and set it for... Uh, um, three extra hours in the morning and three extra hours at night. So that adds six hours of light to the daytime, which gives me about 14 to 15 hours. So um, we love it. It's been an awesome timer for us. Never had an issue. Goes on like clockwork. The interface on the app that you use to program it is very easy. And I am not a techie person. So if I can figure it out, I know you can too. All right, we'll take you back to the quail and finish this video up. Okay, well, it's also starting to do some type of precipitation from the sky here, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, some sleet, snowy, rainy mess. <laughs> but anyways, apologize if this isn't one of the clearer videos I've done. Um, I wanted to film it at night just so you can kind of get an idea. These actually are full spectrum grow lights, like I said. I use these for my seed starters in the spring when I start my seeds indoors. And then in the wintertime, I just transition the same exact ones out here as far as cost i want to say this came in a six pack with all the wiring um and i want to say it was like 45 dollars the timer itself by casa 
was normally I think Amazon has it for 25. I got a refurbished one that worked perfectly fine. It was 18 bucks. So you're looking at like $70 tops and then the nice thing is you can actually use the same grow lights if you use the full spectrum for seed startings if you're into gardening as well so it's something that you use year round uh, i'm on my second year of using these and i've had the bulbs have worked fine um everything's been really wonderful that i've used and i haven't had any issues and that timer by casa i can't say enough about it the thing is mint i mean it goes on and off no problems it can set it for two different outlets um i just run one outlet in here to the quail cage i kind of set it up on the app we can call it what you want it to be so i have it set up for new hampshire quails and more and uh that's basically what i set and i can adjust the timer from my phone and it's all done through wi-fi so it's really easy really simple and uh I think you like it. So I can highly recommend both of those things for a setup like this. And if you do this, you get your birds 14 to 16 hours of light. Um, you're going to get eggs year round. I just collected, I think, four dozen eggs. So, um, yeah, they've been laying like that all, all winter. And we're right here towards the end of January. So I uh, hope this gives you some ideas. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you guys for being cool about uh, – I've gotten some really great comments about the name change. Um why did I change the name? I didn't really get into that too much. One of the biggest reasons was I got a lot of people saying, what seacoast are you a part of? A lot of people were also asking, I'm looking for quail. They didn't really know Coternix is a quail. Um, I wanted to just make it really simple. I'm from New Hampshire. We raise quail. We do videos about uh, quail. We sell hatching kits for renting um, that you can rent to hatch out your quail in your house. And that's what we're about here, about education um, and about just teaching people how amazing these birds are for someone who's looking to be a little more self-sufficient. Um, we also have a website that my wife is putting together. It's looking pretty good. And uh, she's actually the one who did the, uh, the logo. So props to my wife. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and for all your support. And I appreciate it. I'll be back soon. Have a great night. Take care. God bless. Bye.